Okay, so we are recording. And I'm looking at the lens up again. Okay, so I am recording the first part of my video diary returning to competitive riding. Not a huge thing for most of you. Um, not a huge thing for me, actually. I thought I'd be fine until I discovered that I've changed a lot as a person, physically and probably mentally as well. I've got a lovely little horse that I'm lucky enough to compete called Romeo. Uh, he belongs to a friend of mine called Lisa and I'm going to be having some fun with him this summer. And I thought it would be as easy as putting the saddle and bridle on and just getting on with it and it's proving to not be that easy. I've only had four years out and in those four years I really have changed. Um, I've gained three stone in weight, which sounds horrible to say that out loud. Uh, largely due to becoming ill last year and never really getting it off after that. And more so because I suffered really badly from anxiety in a previous job of mine. And um, I ate to compensate for how I was feeling. Uh, talking to the camera is like having my own little mini counsellor. Um, I don't want to cry on camera because I, I hate that. I've had to re-record this twice, I keep crying. But from the age of 27 up to about 34, I was anorexic. And I used to get better, then I'd get sick again. And the last time I was really thin, I was seven stone, and that's half my now body weight. And I decided to never do that again. Uh, I got better and I gained a bit of weight. But I've now gone over the limit in my head and I went to put my competition clothes on because I'm competing soon. And I couldn't get anything on. Now, I'm not expecting to get into tiny clothes, but the clothes I was wearing were size 10 and I should be able to get into them and I just can't get my left leg anywhere near them so that's really got to me and it made me cry a lot I cannot get in my back protector I cannot get in my job purse the only thing that fits is my hat and my boots which I've been wearing for riding anyway so I'm just generally what I would call a round person now <laughs> I don't want to be a round person because I was always super fit and fairly slim and I don't want to have to deal with the demons that I face regarding eating because I've been okay for five years now and the past two days I haven't uh, I've been feeling like I used to about food and I don't want to be like that because I want to be happy and healthy and I want to be comfortable being a bigger rider now what I will say is maybe it is a bit of ego kicking in here because I'm frightened to see the pictures of me competing and to see how fat I am now compared with how I was four years ago when I was riding Bob. Uh, at that time I wasn't poorly and I wasn't suffering from an eating disorder. I was coming off the back of it, eating healthily and I hadn't picked up what happened to me, which I won't say on camera, but I had to have steroids to make myself better. And I am now, I'm fine, but I still I'm still dealing with that weight so the off side of that is having to look at yourself as a bigger person when you're recovering from something like that anyway and I'll always be in recovery you know you don't just get over an eating disorder I'll always be a recovering anorexic and yeah harsh as it may seem I would like to insert some photos of me back then, but I'm too embarrassed for you guys to see me. I was very thin, I like a living skeleton. And Aikido saved me. I walked into the dojo and I was bones. And I tried to take a break fall. And all I could feel was my bones sticking through all my skin. And from that moment on, I chose to eat. And I was okay, but the demons are there, especially when you're sat on the floor surrounded by all your beautiful riding clothes that you've had for years and you've looked after them because you wanted to wear them 
forever and you just can't get them on so that's shit actually is the word I would use and I'm ready to compete in my head but in my body I am not so that again is shit because I can ride and I'm a pretty good rider and I'm looking forward to getting out there and kicking some ass with Romeo uh, but at the moment I think I'd rather not because I just feel huge I won't not do it because this is an opportunity that I would love to to do and I'm looking forward to getting back to being me because I love my dressage I love my classical dressage and I've loved all the training that I've had but what I haven't loved is letting go of a part of me that I thought I would never see again and that's the competing and the eventing and the jumping and the and the hunting and the bucking and the fun and the drama that comes with being a an event rider and I, I miss that and I, I would like Sam to see me ride at that level again. He's only seen me riding like that when he was very young and I don't think he remembers it very well. But I'd like to do that again with with Romeo and show Sam that I can do it and when I'm barking at him I, I can back up while I'm barking at him, you know what I mean? But yeah, so I'm making this first video diary. I've recorded it twice because I keep crying. I'm not going to cry this time. Uh, but I'm looking at my riding clothes now. I've got them hung up on the door. And I've decided the best thing I can do is to put them away and start again. And it's not as easy as that. It's hard. It's hard to say goodbye to my jacket and my cross-country colours and my back to but I am not ever going to fit into those clothes again unless I go back to being the anorexic person I was before. I know that I'm going to get fit and healthy doing all this riding and I might drop a little bit of weight but I'm not ever going to be that tiny person and um I wasn't expecting to have to say goodbye to her when I was saying hello to Romeo. Um, I don't want to say. I don't know, crying. So he's helping me in a way because he's getting me to face that demon that's been sat there. And he's saying to me, come on, let's do this. I like you just as you are. And, um, yeah, they just don't judge you, do they? They carry you. They carry you. No matter what you are to them. They take you on their back and, and they carry you where you want to go. <sighs> I'm really fighting back tears. Yeah, they're just brilliant like that, horses. So this is my problem, and the only way I can fix this problem is to buy new stuff and say goodbye to the old me and embrace the new me, because Romeo does. And um, when I see photos of me riding him, I'm just going to have to try and suck it up. It's tricky, and I tell you, actually, this is why another reason why I wanted to say what I said is I went to a show with Sam a few weeks ago, and I bumped into somebody I used to compete against who was competing, looking amazing, and I walked right by her because I was embarrassed to speak to her, and she double taped and said, "Oh my God, I didn't know it was you because you got so fat." And I just kind of did the whole goldfish thing with my mouth and just tried to justify why I'd got fat and I couldn't really... She had that look on her face as if so you just eat, been eating too many cream cakes. <laughs> and I just thought to myself then, oh, how am I ever going to get back to doing what I used to do? And who am I trying to prove a point to? Anyway, that's part one. <laughs> part two will be hopefully me feeling a bit happier, a bit more body positive. 
I hate the pressure people get put under in society to look a certain way. I haven't got an answer to that. The only way we can change things is if we feel better about ourselves and show other people we don't care. Um, and to this lady that I used to compete against, who said I was fat, um, I guess she's going to have to get used to getting beaten by a fat person, I don't know. She's kind of stirred a fire in me a little bit. But anyway, stay tuned to my returning to competition diaries because there's a lot going on. It's like today I did a show jumping course and we bucked our way around the first half of it. And then he was fine. And I was fine, actually. I enjoyed, I quite enjoyed the challenge. Um, but I've been institutionalised a little bit, always riding in an indoor arena, doing dressage, and to get outside and feel the wind in your hair again has been another challenge. And I know a lot of people are too fr afraid to say that simple things like that can f not frighten them. Frightening is the wrong word. It can just make you think twice about whether it's for you. But this is definitely for me, and you'll be keeping, oh, so you'll be seeing Romeo and I up to no good, I'm sure, on Facebook and on the YouTube channel. We both feel like we have a point to prove, us two. And, um, yeah, we're going to do it. Thank you for listening to me waffle on about being fat. Have a nice night, guys. Bye.